the Maharashtra government has finally put an end to the confusion over cluster redevelopment projects. The state's cabinet has cleared the cluster redevelopment policy and opened up over a thousand land parcels in prime South Mumbai for redevelopment. Manasi Gilani has that report. Call in a gambit ahead of the state elections, but Maharashtra Chief Minister Prithvi Chavan has given real estate developers in Mumbai some reason to cheer. His cabinet has passed new rules which now allow developers to pursue the redevelopment of any dilapidated building, cess buildings or for that matter any state or Mahada owned buildings that have been standing for more than 40 years. But it's not just the 1000 to 1500 land parcels this policy unlocks that has developers cheering. The state has kept FSI unchanged at 4, meaning developers will have lot more land to cash in on. It should be more viable. I mean you can, uh, you can argue that it wasn't viable economically on the previous FSI and that now it's more economically viable so you'll see more, more products of the initial being taken up. In a bid to boost redevelopment, the policy has also reduced the level of consent required from flat owners in a building to 70% from the earlier 100%. But developers say that the rule mandating an 18 meter wide road access area in redeveloped projects could be a bit of a problem. As far as the 18 meter access road is concerned, that will certainly be a challenge in my opinion. And I'm not sure how that's going to be addressed from a, pra a practical perspective. Because let's, let's take, for example, a dense, high density area like Kalba Devi, for example. Where, where there are many, where, where there are many you know, buildings that want to be redeveloped and the extra, the, the extra FSI is important. There is, no, there is no 80 meter road there, right? So that's a, that's a significant issue in terms of how that's going to be managed. The rule mandating a minimum redevelopment area of one acre or 4,000 square meters, however, has not ruffled feathers. People who own property in plots up for redevelopment have not been left in a lurch either. The policy says the developers will have to rehabilitate them with flats that these tenants will own outright. These should have a carpet area of not less than 27.88 square meters. And if the project exceeds 10 hectares, a tenant's new flat should be an additional 30% in carpet area. All said and done, developers won't have an easy time. The policy says that no clusters shall be identified for redevelopment without an impact assessment study covering the load on infrastructure and necessary amenities. Also, the Bombay High Court is yet to decide on identification criteria. Once the High Court, I believe it's on the 6th of October, the High Court is supposed to come up with their order. Once that order clears this cluster redevelopment, each individual cluster that approaches for a redevelopment opportunity will actually submit an impact assessment study which will be reviewed by the BMC and upon their clearance and or recommendations added by these people we would then see the schemes being uh, fruitfully progressed upon. Experts say the real benefits of this policy will be visible only six months down the line and while the positives may come in in the form of an uptick in demand and lower prices for customers the quantum is still up in the air. In Mumbai, Manas Vigilani. And we're going to be slipping into another short break, but don't go anywhere on the other side. Sumit will be telling us how we can get a life.